Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a new view of a member in Tecla. Go to view and click on new view. You get a drop down showing various options to create a new view. Let me explain one by one. The first one is basic view. Clicking on will open a dialog box. Specify the plane and depth you want to create the new view. And click create to create a new view on specified plane and depth. The second option is creating a new view using two points. Select the icon and click on the start point and the second point. The arrow indicates the direction of the view that is going to be created. The view is created perpendicular to the direction of specified points. Use Ctrl plus tab to switch between views. Next is using three points. Click on the icon and specify the X and Y plane in which you want to create the view plane. Next icon is along work plane. The new view is created based on the position of the work plane. Here the red axis symbol represents the work plane. Next option is along grid lines. Clicking on the icon will pop up a dialog box with predefined settings. Modify the changes required and click on create button to create the new views along the grid lines. The next option available is on a plane. The highlighted option indicates creating a view plane using a members drawn in Tecla. You can also do the same by right clicking on the member and in create view choose the required options needed. Let me go to view then open on a plane. Select the tool and select the face you want to create the new view. Next tool is to create from view of a part. Click the tool and click the member to create the front view of the member. Note these views are drawn based on the local axis. You can also right click on a member and do the same option. Next icon is to create the top view of the part. Click the icon and the member to create the top view of that member. Similarly, we can get the back and the bottom view of a part required. Clicking on 3D view of a part creates a 3D view of that member. Neighbor members are hidden and the work area is limited to that member alone. Now, when I click on the default view of the part, multiple views containing the end, front, perspective, top views are created. Clicking on the undeformed part view will create a deformed member to be undeformed and a new view is created for that member. Select the icon and click the member to create the undeformed view. Last two option is with respect to component. Before clicking on the components, note the selection filter for component is on. Then select the icon and click on the component you want to create the 3D view. Clicking on the default view of the component will create multiple view like end, front, perspective top views similar to that pot members. That's it guys. We have seen various methods to create a new view in Tecla. See you at next session.